Hello, I'm Bunnery. I'm Brad Mower, and, and this, this is, is IF, IF Extra. So, another week's gone by in lockdown. I hope everyone's well and feeling safe and managed to get everything they need, like the food and everything. You do our weekly shop, don't you know? Yeah, I mean, it just seems weird, like mm. time is weird now. I know, it I doesn't know. feel like a week. Uh, but yeah, so I, I, I go down to Sainsbury's mm -hmm. and queue up outside to be mm -hmm. let in one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, time's weird. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's all good. We're, we're all good. We're all healthy. Yeah, that's um, it. That's the yeah. thing. You know, Keeping and, occupied, uh, we aren't hope we? You are all good too. Yeah. This week we're occupied with two extra quizzes again. Don't yes, we? because we're mm -hmm. trying to keep you all occupied yeah. with, mm -hmm. with everyone being trapped inside. Normally we do um, like a couple of streams a week. We do interference and chill uh, on Wednesdays, and then we do Zeitgeist, the interference quiz of the week, on Sundays. But while we're all trapped inside, mm -hmm. we are doing some extra stuff. So we're doing Zeitgeist 20 mm -hmm. twice a week on yeah. Tuesdays and Thursdays, which Seven is a bit like the regular quiz. But um, it's one topic, mm. 20 questions. That's right. Mm. So this is the second week that we've yeah. done it now. So this week we've been doing 90s music, which was lots of fun. Mm. And then on Thursday we did space. Yeah. And then it went down quite well. So, uh, yeah, that was quite cool. I mean, we'll give you our full update when we do the little zeitgeist bit at oh, yeah. the end of this video. I'll let you know what we're doing next um, week. But, yeah, mm -hmm. so, you know, if you are getting a little bit bored of being trapped inside, um, yeah, we have four streams each week now. So yeah. um, we have Zeitgeist 20 on Tuesdays, uh, Interference and Chill on Wednesdays, uh, Zeitgeist 20 on Thursdays as well, mm -hmm. and then regular Zeitgeist on Sundays. Wow. All of those are at 7 p.m. UK time over on mixer.com slash interference. Yeah, they're great fun. Have you been doing anything, tinkering with anything apart from the quiz stuff this week? Um, no, it's been mostly quiz stuff yeah. uh, because we, we kind of spun all of this stuff up uh, really, really quickly. Quick. <laughs> so I, um, yeah, I kind of managed to get everything done to make it work for the first week and then I fixed a few issues um for uh for the second week yeah, going quite um well. yeah i got a massive bug list to get through on interference as well oh, yeah, um indeed. yeah <laughs> so the backlog just mm -hmm. double like <laughs> stuff comes on the backlog twice as fast as i can shift it yeah uh, but i'm hoping to get some more done uh, over the weekend oh good okay well i think now it's time to see who won this week's awards Picture of the week this week goes to the silent artist for a diamond ring. That is such a beautiful, outstanding picture. I love the perspective of it and the glittering diamond. It looks amazing. Well done, silent artist. My favourite description this week was Girl, Lion and Scarecrow investigate massive mustard spill by Mr Puzzle. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. He's just making a real mess whilst eating that hot dog. Nice work, Mr. Puzzle. Community pick of the week this week goes to Lobo Whoop for King of the Jungle. That's an amazing picture of King Julian the 13th from the Madagascar films. Well done. I love the colours. Very bright and happy. Well done, Lobo. They were amazing. Awesome stuff there, as always. Now we're going to see what we were talking about last week in the forums. So, last week I was asking you, as we're all probably watching a lot more TV and films at the moment, who's your favourite actor? Let me know why. I mean, obviously, lots of people know that Kenneth Brown's my favourite actor. Yeah, I mean, that, that was an easy one, really, <laughs> yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Because, you know, he brings Shakespeare to life, makes it relevant to today, and it's just, like, fun. Mm. And he's a nice guy. I mean, I don't really remember people, so I, I don't know if I have a favourite actor or anything well, I think like that. one of your favourite actors is in the list given to us by Artsy Ninja, who replied to the forum, and he said his favourite male actors are Jason Statham. You like Jason Statham, don't you? I wouldn't say he's my favourite actor, no, no, but I mean, like yeah, the, the, I find Jason Statham quite entertaining yeah, yeah. because mm -hmm. um, if you're watching a Jason Statham film, mm -hmm. you know it's not going to be... Over, there's not going to be a great deal of thinking involved, uh, <laughs> and you can just kind of sit back and relax. And but um, yeah, he, he's very funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he also likes Paul Rudd, Kurt uh, yeah. Russell, Giovanni Ribisi. I don't know who that is. Sam Rockwell and Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm, yeah, recognise a few off there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and female ones: um, Emma Stone. How do you say Saucy Sorcher? Sorcher Saucy. Right. Yeah, right. Kate Blanchett, Sandra Bullock, I like her, Nicole Kidman and Charlize Theron and Natalie Portman. Had a good mm -hmm. think about it. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, 9% mm. had a, a good point here, actually, yeah, saying so. a good actor is a person you can watch that plays different characters and you just accept it. Yep. So it would have to be Tom Hanks. I could watch him playing almost anything. Yeah, I agree with and, that. and yeah, mm. that, that's a really good point, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. In that... You think, oh, it's easy. They're just being themselves. But you know, every, every character is different. Yeah. <laughs> it um, just feels like they're... That's them. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it, it's, it's really interesting because you forget that it's the this person mm. who you've seen in all kinds of other things. Yeah. I tell you the last time that that happened with me, actually, mm -hmm. was watching the most recent series of Doctor Who mm. with Bradley Walsh. Oh, yeah. Who, yeah. you know, like he normally kind of hosts things on TV in the UK, just That's like a quiz is. host yeah. quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And you know, he's done... Law and Order, did he do? Oh, he did, like, yeah. Was he in Coronation Street? I mean, yeah, I he's done a lot that, of things, but, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, but, like, they they were, oh, yeah, yeah, Bradley Walsh, Doctor Who. And I'm like, really? That's going to be a bit of a struggle. Yeah, he's not going to take then, that seriously. <laughs> after the, first, the end of the first episode, I, like, wow. I was properly into it. He yeah, really and he, um, yeah, he was excellent. He was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it's surprising, yeah. Mm -hmm. People, as you say, people who play the character and you just yeah, accept it. Exactly. That's a really good point. So if anyone wants to add anything to that, then that, street, that um, discussion is still there in the general discussion part of the forum. Hmm. Yeah. And now we're going to see what we're going to be talking about next week. What is the first thing you want to do when the lockdown is lifted? I want to visit friends and family again and go out for a meal. I've never done so much home cooking before. If you'd like to chime in with that, just head over to the general discussion forum. It's the pin thread for the week, so you'll find it at the top of the thread list. Cool. And don't forget, tomorrow night is normal quiz night <laughs> so we'll mm. have our usual quiz uh, which is one with five rounds yes and then um but we could tell you who won maybe tuesdays and thursdays mm. yeah we we need to kind of get <laughs> yeah. used to like adding in all of these extra bits now we we've had the same routine for <clears throat> however long we've been doing these videos three mm. years and so like now we have to fit in a new bit it's very confusing okay. <laughs> um okay so in addition to the Sunday night quiz, we're doing Zeitgeist 20 on mm -hmm. Tuesdays and Thursdays. So let's have a little look at how people did there. So on Tuesday, we had uh, 20 questions on 90s music. Yeah. Uh, and Callum finished in first place on 200 points, uh, closely followed by Grin and Goose on 196 and Live Long Animal on 190. Ooh. So that's good going. It looks as though he got them all right, but he didn't get them all right, did he? Mm, no. That was the interesting thing. Yeah. Uh, Callum got one wrong, but picked up enough bonus points for like speed <laughs> yeah. that uh, still managed to come out on top. He did, yeah. Mm. Good going. Uh, and then on Thursday, we had 20 questions on space. Uh, and again, Callum actually finished in the lead there on 163. Mm -hmm. uh, Lanky Orchid was in second place on 152. And then Jess was in third place on 144. Those scores are a lot lower, aren't they, on that one? So I think that was a harder quiz. Mm, yeah, yes, Not I as think many so. people know much about space. But, yeah, it wasn't all about space. <laughs> I mean, it was... some light bits as well. It was <laughs> largely about space, mm. the kind of things people would expect. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, some of it was a little bit tangential. Yeah. You know, a few cultural references, popular culture. <laughs> Next week's topics will be sitcoms on Tuesday and history on Thursday. Uh, that was Zeitgeist 20. Mm -hmm. um, we also, maybe I should have done these in the opposite order. Because yeah, the Sunday, Sunday came one first, comes before. It? Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> I'll fix that for next week. Yeah. Um, so stepping back in time. So mm. before all of that happened, we also had the regular Sunday night quiz, which mm. was uh, Zeitgeist Season 4, Episode 3, mm. um, because, I mean, time is still going really quickly. Yeah. How is this happening? Yeah. Uh, and so there we can tell you that, uh, again, Callum won. Wow, Callum, he's had a good week. <laughs> Callum is on a streak here. He is. Uh, so you need stopping. <laughs> this was uh, 250 points was the standard mm. maximum, but of course you can pick up bonus points as well. Mm. Uh, Callum doing really well, getting 225. Goose was in second place on 211. Mm. And then Lanky Orchid and Live Long Animal tied for third place on mm. 210. Wow. Mm. So... That's interesting. So I think, you know, he can be beaten. I'm sure somebody can beat him this week. Mm, yeah, if you think you want to have a go at taking on Callum and breaking his streak there, we would love to see you uh, tomorrow night at 7pm UK time over on Mixer.com slash interference. So this being our regular quiz, this is five rounds mm -hmm. of five questions each. Right. So different topics. Yeah. Uh, and each round is based on one of the week's drawings from interference. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if we had a drawing of a seagull, it might be about seabirds, Seaside resorts, oceans, seas, oceans, yeah. um, 
things with red noses. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, Bunnery here picks all of the items. You pick five of your favourite do. ones, don't you? I do. And then I build the rounds around them. Yeah. Now, no mm. one knows until we begin mm. uh, anything about it other than you. I just turn up and see what happens. <laughs> um, so I don't see the, the questions, nope. the topics, or even the pictures. Nope. But can you tell us who the featured artists are? Okay, this week I'm featuring... Um, Halle Abdullah, Leonard Van Yoen, Maliki, Mystery, and Stiffy. Mm, so there's nice. some very interesting pictures. Again, some a mixture of people there. Oh, some yeah. of them have been around for a, a week or two. Yeah. Well, a few weeks now. Uh, some some of them are new. quite new. Yeah. yeah. So, mm. We like to see new artists, don't we? Popping awesome. up. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, as we say, only Bunnery knows uh, mm -hmm. what these drawings are and what the rounds are. If you'd mm -hmm. like to find out what drawings have been chosen, you'll have to join us tomorrow night at 7pm UK over on mixer.com slash interference. We'll be here to host mm -hmm. your quiz. <laughs> okay, is that all the... Um... I think see? that is it, okay. yes. Okay, just goes to say. Yeah, if you're not already taking part in the game, then get involved at playinterference.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at PlayIFX or on Facebook at PlayInterference. We've also now got a Patreon page at patreon.com slash interference if you want to give us a bit of monthly support for the ongoing maintenance of the game, adding in new features, doing bug fixes, building in new stuff to this quiz and all of these other bits and pieces that we mm -hmm. do for you. We really appreciate your support. And patrons get a couple of extra bonuses as well. They get supporter status and interference, so they get things like uh, access to watching replays of drawings. Uh, and then they also get a custom entrance shout out from right. Ava uh, if they are playing the quiz as That's well. Cool. So everyone will know how cool you are. <laughs> OK, so um, that's it for now. So we'll see you again next Saturday. Yep. Have a great week. We'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Bye.